Hello, my name is John Snader and I'm the President and CEO of Brethren Village. And I'm here to provide you with an important COVID-19 update. It's been 13 weeks since my last update. And during that time, we seem to have the virus more controlled than what is going on right now. The resurgence of COVID-19 cases in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, and across the United States and world were not unexpected. As many of you may recall, epidemiologists and the Centers for Disease Control, CDC, had been warning that COVID-19 would come in waves, with the most significant wave coming in the fall, when schools went back into session and the weather would bring with it respiratory illnesses and flu. Although the warnings were there, it seems no one anticipated the steep, almost exponential increase in the number of cases we have seen over the past two weeks. This is definitely not good news, and it is very important that we recognize the severity of the virus's spread and renew our efforts to protect ourselves, our neighbors, and our campus from the resurgence raging right now. It is essential, it is important, it is necessary, and it is mandatory that residents, team members, visitors, and all other people living, visiting, or working on the Brethren Village campus wear face masks when in any public area. The public areas are any areas outside the interior of your cottage, apartment, or office. And when there is a need for you to interact with a team member inside your apartment or cottage, Masks must be worn in addition to practicing social distancing. We respect your decision regarding guests you have invited into your apartment or cottage, but would strongly recommend that while the pandemic is surging right now, you continue to wear masks and practice social distancing. If you are entertaining guests and family in your apartment or cottage, please keep the numbers to no more than six. And if possible, keep your apartment or cottage well ventilated. Now, these are not guarantees that COVID will not be spread, but they are additional steps that can be taken to mitigate your exposure to the virus. Throughout this pandemic, I have endeavored to be transparent and honest with you about the virus and its deadly impact on Brethren Village residents. In sharing facts and recommendations from trusted and reliable experts, my purpose has not been to alarm or distress you, but to encourage you to take responsibility for your own safety, health, and well-being, and that of your neighbors. I've appreciated the broad support and compliance you have shown throughout these past nine months. This has been an extremely long, arduous haul. I wish I could tell you that the end is near, but that cannot be the message today. Instead, I need to ask you for renewed vigilance, diligence, and compliance with the safety measures we have been advocating since this crisis began. With the significant rise in infections in Lancaster County, the positivity rate is approaching 7%, with 10% considered substantial spread. It is imperative that everyone in the BV community correctly and consistently wears face masks when in public, practices social distancing when in the company of others, and increases the practice of good hand, personal, and domicile hygiene. As the CEO of Brethren Village, I need to communicate to everyone that although I am asking for your voluntary support, I reserve the right to use any and all means under my authority and under the terms of your resident or employment agreement to protect you, your neighbors, team members, and the BV property. The numbers you see reported are causing concern among healthcare providers that beds to handle an influx of COVID-19 cases may be insufficient for the numbers that are now being infected. True, most who are exposed to COVID-19 and test positive for the virus will recover. But the risks to individuals who are over the age of 65 and have underlying health issues continues to place them in a very vulnerable position should they be exposed to COVID-19. This means that the Brethren Village resident is still a high-risk candidate 
for a COVID-19 exposure. With the rising rates of infections that are now hitting Lancaster County, the risk to the Brethren Village resident is increasing. Again, it is absolutely imperative that all residents practice the infection control standards we have been advocating from the beginning of this pandemic. Additionally, with mandatory testing of healthcare employees, COVID-19 is being identified in asymptomatic employees who are working in hospitals, personal and long-term care facilities, and in retirement communities. When a team member tests positive, they are immediately taken out of the work rotation and appropriate contact tracing is initiated among their colleagues. This often results in additional employees being quarantined, which places significant burdens on the remaining staff to cover the quarantined and absent employees' responsibilities. It is important to note that as 95% of Brethren Village team members live in Lancaster County, they too are at increased risk of a COVID-19 exposure. Your management team is already evaluating contingency plans for a reduction in staffing that could result in immediate curtailment of services to independent living residents. Our priority is our most vulnerable residents in skilled nursing, personal care, rehabilitation center, and those receiving in-home care in their apartment or cottage. Now, should we experience a reduction in staff because of continued COVID-19 surge in Lancaster County, our staffing focus will shift immediately to supporting our residents in care areas. At this time, we will not be initiating any blockades of our entrances or channeling everyone through a single point of entry. We will continue to keep the hut at its current location, which is presently at the courtyards, and all team members and visitors will be required to be screened before they are permitted access to their workplace or their destination. Residents will continue to access their residence via their key or key fob. At this time, I am not imposing any new curfews or restrictions on visitors. At the present time, we will continue to observe the guidelines we announced to you in my last video. As I have shared with you previously, Brethren Village is neither a prison nor is it a fortress. We continue to recognize that independent living residents have autonomy to come and go from the campus as their needs and their responsibilities dictate. However, with that autonomy comes responsibility. And because we are not a fortress, we cannot keep COVID-19 out of our campus. This is the nastiness and the cruelty of fighting something like a virus. It does what it will do without regard to boundaries, rules, or restrictions. We cannot will the virus away, and we cannot bully it into submission. But we can continue to use prudent, reasonable, and mature judgment in our decision-making and our behaviors. The responsibility every independent living resident owes to themselves, to their neighbors, to the team members, and to the Brethren Village campus is the correct and consistent use of face masks, social distancing, hand hygiene, and self-quarantining and self-monitoring when your trips off campus may have increased your exposure to a COVID-19 infection. If you are planning holiday trips to family and other counties or other states where COVID-19 may be surging, we ask you to carefully consider whether this trip is necessary, and if it is, to alert community life as to your plans. They will work with you on your quarantine plans for your return and coordinate needs as they arise. As I mentioned a few moments ago, COVID-19 is a cruel, nasty virus. It has forced us to distance ourselves from one another, particularly friends and family, in a way that few could have imagined or even wanted. Although I've been humbled by the courage and strength of our residents to endure the demands that COVID-19 has placed on us over these long nine months, we need to summon even more courage and strength, as COVID-19 will definitely impact how we celebrate the Thanksgiving and Christmas holidays. We all need to prepare ourselves that gathering as families 
may be curtailed or significantly constrained this year. I would implore each and every one of you to make your decisions regarding family gatherings with prudence, responsibility, and reasonableness, given what we are presently seeing in COVID-19 infections. If you are planning to attend a family holiday dinner or event, and you are unable to both maintain social distance and wear your face mask, you are required to quarantine upon your return to Brethren Village. Again, Community Life is happy to help coordinate services as you may need them. Because of the resurgence of COVID-19 in Lancaster County, I am making the decision to cancel the Chris Kindle Mark that was scheduled for Saturday, December 5. It is inconsistent for Brethren Village to express concern for the rise in COVID-19 cases and to strongly advise residents to avoid crowds when off the campus and then hold an event that will be bringing people together in numbers larger than we may wish at this particular time. I apologize to the resident groups like the workshop, the creative arts room, and others who looked forward to this event as a time when they could sell their crafts to a larger market. I would encourage all residents to view the videos presently running on BVTV in which the various crafts and artisans who have created them are showing their talents and wares. These items are still available for sale and I would encourage you to call the workshop or creative arts room or gift shop or thrift shop should you be looking for holiday gifts this year. They will be happy to sell any of the items that would have been sold at the Chris Kindle Mart. When I reflect back on where things stood on January 1, 2020, I saw a year at Brethren Village full of promise, full of activity and excitement. Things are going quite differently, and it may be easy to slip into a melancholy attitude as we approach the holidays. Holidays are sometimes tough for people, and I expect this year they will be tougher still. I never presume to tell anyone how they should or should not feel, but I think we all can empathize with each other that Thanksgiving 2020 may be a bit more challenging to identify those things for which we are truly thankful. It seems that this past year has given us a longer list of those things for which we are not thankful. Yet, as our faith-based traditions inform us, even in this darkness, there is always a flicker of light. I don't wish to ignore the darkness and difficulties that the next weeks, maybe months, will inflict and impose upon us. We face an ordeal of a truly grievous kind. But even in that darkness, I do see a flicker of hope. There appears to be signs that an effective vaccine against COVID-19 may be available. Now, it's too soon to place all our hopes in that vaccine being widely disseminated, but the news does seem promising and should give all of us some pause for optimism. I'm also very thankful for the strong support residents, their families, team members, and the community at large have given to our efforts to keep you, your neighbors, our staff, and our campus safe and secure. You have recognized that caring for one another is the responsibility that can never be delegated. I respect and am truly humbled by that support, your encouragement and compliance with our efforts to keep COVID-19 out of our campus. I will need to ask each and every one of you to redouble that commitment to yourself and to others as we ride out this current wave of COVID-19 infections. As a faith-based community, we recognize a revealed truth that the light of God, which came into this world, shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not and will not overcome it. For many, this is the essence of faith, and it may be a reminder for all of us that even though we walk through this time of darkness, uncertainty, anxiety, fear, even death, we still have hope that the light burns and it will grow stronger and that the darkness will never overcome it. Even in this time of COVID-19, I think we can be thankful for things like the caring, concern, and responsibility of our neighbors. We can be thankful for the professionalism and dedication of Brethren Village team members. And we can be thankful that simple things like masks and social distancing 
although maybe not natural or particularly welcome, they can form an effective barrier against the current force of darkness, which we call COVID-19. As we summon forth deeper reserves of strength, courage, and diligence to fight this current wave of the virus, let us do so in the hopes that a brighter day is coming when we can return to some normalcy. I thank you for your time in keeping with a more subdued, yet no less important holiday season. And I wish you and yours a very, very happy Thanksgiving.